One of the uh, institutions that was created in the lead up to the Paris Agreement is the Green Climate Fund. Uh, you know, for many years, there's been discussion about how you set up some kind of global fund to help uh, particularly poorer countries finance the low carbon transition as well as help, you know, pay for some of the um, the the pain that they're feeling from the impacts um, that, you know, to climate change, which are, you know, increasingly being felt the most severely in the, the countries that are the least able to, um, to, you know, respond to these impacts uh, and are the least resilient. And so uh, the Green Climate Fund is sort of the newest version of this. And the idea is that, you know, developed countries essentially pay into this fund and then developing countries can ask for assistance on specific projects. And there's a whole range of things that have been, um, you know, that the Green Climate Fund is trying to address. I think it's important, you know, to have something like this. And most international environmental treaties have some kind of fund in place. The Montreal Protocol did something very similar to help uh, phase out uh, chlorofluorocarbons, particularly in the developing world. But that said, you know, I think we're never going to have enough public finance. So, you know, government donated investment essentially to solve climate change. I mean, a lot of what we need to be doing is looking at how we can leverage um, these this public money to change, you know, the way that much bigger investments driven primarily, you know, by, by private corporations uh, are being done around the world. So, you know, we really need to change the way that all energy infrastructure is being built, all infrastructure in general, all industrial facilities, how cities are being built, um, how transportation infrastructures are being built out. And this is, you know, this is much bigger than something that the like the Green Climate Fund and really requires strategic thinking about how you use not just the Green Climate Fund, but national development banks um, and other, you know, sort of state led institutions, financial institutions to try to leverage private investment towards much greener and lower carbon um, investments instead. Um, and that's the only way that you're going to get to sort of close the gap in, in terms of what we need, which is the you know multi-trillion dollar gap of uh, low carbon investment that's needed to get the world on a much more sustainable pathway.